Hi guys, and welcome to Strength Universe. For almost 100 years, stories of giant gorillas has been a staple of the silver screen that has fueled our imagination about the real size and strength of these majestic beasts. Numerous websites and videos have cited that gorillas are four to nine times stronger than the average human. In fact, some sources even claim they're over 20 times stronger. Today, I will try to separate fact from fiction to see how a gorilla stacks up to the former world's strongest man, Eddie Hall. We start by looking at the gorilla's biology compared to that of a human. The average man stands 5 foot 9 inches tall and weighs 80 kilograms, while the average silverback, when stood upright, is 5 foot 6 inches tall and weighs 181 kilograms, although this is far from the biggest example, who in the wild have been measured to be 6 foot 5 inches tall and the heaviest a massive 273 kilograms. However, this pales in comparison to the biggest gorillas found in captivity, where the tallest individual stood 7 foot 3 inches tall and the heaviest weighed 390 kilograms. While gorillas are only 4.7% shorter than a man, it is a colossal 226% heavier, and that advantage in body weight is due to a significantly larger skeletal frame and muscle mass. However, despite some claims perpetrated on YouTube, their larger muscle mass isn't seemingly the result of higher levels of testosterone as a study published by Science Direct have shown that testosterone levels in their urine is not proportionately higher than that of humans. In humans, myostatin proteins act as a negative regulator to muscle mass to prevent excessive growth. While the exact mechanisms in gorillas is still being researched, it's believed that they either have a myostatin null mutation or have reduced myostatin activity allowing for greater muscle hypertrophy. Through evolution, gorilla skeletons, ligaments and tendons have evolved to support more muscle mass. Their muscles are not only longer with a much larger cross-section than humans, but also a far greater concentration of fast-twitch fibers and a superior connection of tendons, allowing for better biomechanical efficiency, combining to provide greater strength. Numerous websites state that Guinness World Records recorded the largest weight ever lifted by a gorilla at 816 kilograms. However, no such article exists. The claim would seem to originate from research on chimpanzees in 1923, and the results then extrapolated by a multiplier of body weight to gorillas. Several other websites state today Gorilla can bench press 1,800 kilograms while not providing any source to verify such a claim, and making the frankly ridiculous statement that a well-trained man can lift up to 401 kilograms. However, the 1923 study that showed that chimpanzees could pull nine times their own body weight was disproven in later studies conducted in 1943 and the 1960s. The results of those studies combined with more recent research seems to indicate that pound for pound, apes are only 1.5 times stronger than humans. That 1.5 times multiplier can then be applied to the common strength standards for intermediate lifters of an equal 181 kilograms of body weight to produce an estimate of a gorilla's strength that then can be compared to the equally heavy Eddie Hall who at his peak weighed 196 kilograms. At that time, Eddie is cited to have had a best squat of 405 kilograms, while based on the multiplier of a gorilla's strength, it would be able to squat 407 kilograms, or 0.5% greater than Eddie's best. Eddie is stated to have had a personal record bench press of 300 kilograms but a gorilla beats that by 13% with an estimated bench press of 339 kilos. Finally, the latest calculations estimate that a gorilla could deadlift 543 kilograms, and that would be 8.6% greater than Eddie's best deadlift without the assistance of a deadlift suit. While I believe this is an interesting subject, the data I came across on websites and publications was pure speculation, with estimates based on observations or in best case scenarios from biomechanical modelling. 
Even then, measurements of a gorilla's strength was based on movements through specific planes of motion. More concerning is the fact that every website seems to perpetuate early myths, while completely ignoring later studies conducted in 1943, the 1960s and 2013. The results of those studies showed that depending on the muscle groups being utilised, primates are pound for pound between 1.15 and 2 times stronger than humans, primarily due to their more favourable connection of tendons and their muscle's 67% content of fast twitch fibres. However, in real terms, due to the 226% discrepancy in body weight, primates are between 2.6 and 4.5 times stronger than the average man. However, as shown in this video, when humans make an asserted effort to gain strength, along with the use of extrogenous hormones, the gap is narrowed considerably to just a few percent. That's it for the video, but thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please help to support my channel by hitting like, sharing the video, leaving a comment, and subscribing for more. Thank you.